Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, this is Brad Allen Hensley coming from my apartment. How much longer I will be at this apartment I do not know. Due to finances and then we're selling the building and everything, but for now, this one I'm at. But here's the deal. In this video here is going to be on a subject that some people are calling racist, some people are calling uh, touchy or whatever, but this is the bottom line. All my life, I've had friends that were, for lack of a better phrase right now, people of color. I ain't racist. I have fought against true racism. I've had crosses burned in my lawn. When I was a child, living in Texas, I fought people who were true racist. And even to this day, I will beat the ass of a fucking racist. That being said, let me tell everyone out there one simple thing. You got all these liberal people out there running around saying how, oh, it's okay to be black and there's racism against blacks and it happens every day. Well, listen up, you scumbags. This is America. All the bad elements, fuck yeah. However, wake the fuck up. Look at the fucking what is going down, man. Racism against fucking blacks? Are you fucking insane? It's never been a better time in history to be a person of color. But, on the other hand of that, if you look at what's going down, it's never been a worse time to be a white straight, God-fearing, Christian or otherwise, man. You want to see racism, true fucking racism? Look at what's going on today against white people. You got colleges crying out for days that no whites allowed. Hey, fuckheads, we stopped segregation in the 60s, you dumb Fucks. Who's the ones perpetrating this? Black people. Uh, I thought you wanted fucking inclusion, you stupid sons of bitches. Inclusion means everything coming together. Everything and everyone being allowed in the area. No fucking exceptions. You dumb bastards and bitches out there. Jesus H. Christ, get a fucking life. Better yet, get a goddamn dictionary and fucking read it. Get off your fucking phones and actually read a fucking book. I don't need a book that's been edited, but a real fucking book. Might fucking put the knowledge into you. Yeah, I know I'm cursing a lot in this video, normally I don't. But damn it, this is something I feel fucking like strongly about. So yeah, my outrage is going to cause me to cuss a bit. Am I being upset and tired of the bullshit identity politics that the fucking Democrats and the left are playing? It's going to cause me to fucking cuss. If you were born in this country, or... You legally, keyword, legally immigrated to this country, then you are an American. Whether you're white, black, yellow, fucking tan, orange, yellow, fucking polka dots, green, with red polka dots, it don't fucking matter. Alright, no, notification on my phone. I'll kill that so it's not on to the big speaker. Alright, don't matter what color you are, what your background is, what religion you are, Jesus fucking Christ. If you fucking came here legally, you're an American. 
therefore ye should want what's best for the tent of America. Because when we, as a nation, succeed, we, as a common people, fucking succeed. It's not fucking rocket science. It's simple fucking economics and mathematics. Math don't lie. Economics don't fucking lie. You want the truth? You want fucking true stats? Okay, how's this? Under President Donald J. Trump, highest unemployment for African Americans in the history of this country, hell, the history of the world. Highest unemployment of Hispanic or Latin Americans in the history of this country, probably the world. The highest job increases, meaning that the jobs are coming back in over 30 fucking years. Hell, I'll even say over 40 years. And I'm 44 years old. I have never seen this many jobs coming in at once. Never. He is fighting for this country to be great. Again, and you say, well, when, if it was great really again, the win wasn't that great. How about Obama, Clinton, Bush, Jr., not Senior, and yes, I know the Bush is good people, but Jr. fucked up. I, that's, uh, let's see here, 4, 8, 12, 16, Roughly 20, 24 years, this country was shit. The fucking world was walking all over us. Especially under Obama. Are you fucking insane? Obama had Canada. Canada of all fucking people. Canada and the French. You mean to tell me we couldn't stand up to the fucking French? Come on. They roll over faster than a fucking two dollar whore. And they were walking all over us. Trump went in, pulled us out of the Paris fucking climate accord. Fucking slap tariffs are fucking tariffs. If you want to tariffs us high and make it where our party can't go there, well fuck you, we'll do the same, bitch. Please try again. And as a result, Look at what's happened. Our farmers are making money again, which, if the agricultural part of our country does great, then every fucking thing else in our country will do good too. China, high tariffs against us. We were actually paying them to bring the fucking products over here. We were paying them so that we could have the privilege of selling this shit. What did Trump do? Fuck you! You want our tariffs on us? Guess what? Turn about fair play. You want to renegotiate? I'm all for it. New Mexico, fucking Mexico, had our tariffs against us. What'd he do? Let's renegotiate. Got a new fucking pack then. Everything Trump has been doing since he got into office has been to make this country not just great again, but great for its citizens so that its citizens can afford to send their children to better schools. Don't give a fuck where you live. There's no such thing as fucking racism. But yet, the Democrats, every four years, like clockwork, try it out racism. Watch. Watch. After this fucking election, watch. Racism will go away. Again. But four years later, it'll come back. Watch. I'm telling you now, 
It's my fucking prediction. Watch. The 2024 elections, the Democrats are going to be trotting out race. Fucking just like they do every four years, you're going to hear race, 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 race from the fucking Democrats and libtards. Watch. Mark my words. Today's the 20 fucking 9th of May 2019 and it is 16.06 hours. Excuse me, 18.06 hours. That's 6.06 p.m. You'll see. You want to get ahead in this country? You want to make it in this country? You want to make mad, crazy, stupid money in this country? It's simple. Work hard. Graduate high school. Don't have children before you're fucking married. You do that. Boom. You have the house. You have the cars. You have the loot. All of it. It's that simple. Men. Women. Or whatever you want to try to claim to be. But the fact of the matter. The biology. The science of the matter is. There's only two fucking sexes. Man, woman. Nature. Man, woman. There's no gays in nature. Think about this. Hello. Every time someone says that there's 500 or 400 or whatever they're saying there is now genders, I just feel like being the fucking bully from Back to the Future. And fucking slapping them up alongside their head and fucking knocking on their head like that. Giving him a nugget saying, Hello, McFly, you ho? What are you, fucking stupid? Science. Nature. There's only two fucking genders. Male and female. I don't give a fuck if you have your dick cut off and inverted. You're a dude. On a biological level, you are a man. You can't fucking change your biology, bitch. It's that simple. You can change the way you look. You can change the way you act, but deep down in your biological and your fucking genes, you are a man. And I don't care if you have your tits cut off and a fucking fake penis fucking put on you. It doesn't change the fact. Deep down in your fucking genes, you are a woman. A woman can do shit that a man can't. A woman can give birth. They can create fucking life in their womb. Men cannot. Why? We do not have that. We do not have that. But, women need men, just as men need women. The yin needs the yang. And the yang needs the yin. For balance. Everything is a balance in nature. But you live towards aren't fucking smart enough to realize that. And truthfully, it breaks my American heart. I'm a true blue dad and a fucking wool patriot. Put my life on the line and everything. And it breaks my fucking heart to see what's going on nowadays. Truly it does. But. Time. Will out. Truth. Will out. Truth will always come to the top. Truth will always be proven. No matter how many people bitch and moan about it. Truth will always come to the top. You want an example? The Mueller investigation. All the libtards are screaming, Oh, he colluded with Russia, he colluded with Russia, he colluded with Russia. He obstructed, he obstructed. What came out of the Mueller investigation? A great big fat fucking nothing bugger. Mueller himself has said, There's no fucking collusion between Trump and the Russians. And if there's no collusion, how can he obstruct? For a crime that never fucking happened. If you're gonna say he obstructed, then there's gotta be evidence that he committed a crime. No crime, no obstruction, done, over with. 
unless you want to try to make it with fucking Donald J. Trump is not president, so therefore you must try to illegitimize his presidency. Which is what the libtards and the Democrats have been doing since day fucking one. Also, making fucking hand gestures as racist, what are you fucking insane? This means oh fucking K. Okay? It means everything is good. Okay. It's not bad, it's not good, it's okay. It's somewhere in the middle, but it's okay. To say that that's a fucking white supremacist gesture, what are you fucking insane? A gesture that is steeped in conspiracy. Is that right there, the M from Mary Magdalene and the Holy Family bloodline of Jesus? Christ and Mary Magdalene. And yeah, I believe in the bloodline. Hoorah. Because Jesus. Yeah, they say he was part God, but he was also part man. And to think that his whole time on earth he didn't get busy when he had the urges of men. You gotta be fucking stupid. Yeah, he was without sin, so he married the bitch before he fucked her. I know nowadays that's the concept that no one can grasp, huh? Wow. No, I didn't change things. I just punted. The only New York team that I've ever supported is a hockey team, and it happens to be the Rangers. They were a good team. I think they still are a good team. I, when I make a team, I go with it because I'm dead. I still have my Make America Great Again cab. This was just the first one I grabbed. So, but think about that. Think about everything I've said, people. Look into it. Hell, don't just take my word for it. Never, ever just take someone's fucking word for it. I don't give a fuck where the information comes from. If it comes from God and fucking self or herself, fucking... Do your own research. Think for yourselves. Do your own investigative research. And look at all points of view with an open mind. Then, after studying all the information, make an informed, intelligent decision. And that is how you, as a human being, will be able to know you are always on the right side of life. And you will always be able, no matter what comes down the pipe, to know that. And trust me, I do it and it's a fucking cool place to be, man. Fucking awesome. But until next time, Bill Allen Hensley saying, stay cool, stay positive, treat each other the way you would like to be treated, and love your country, but don't trust your government. And until next time, think for yourself and do your own research, and I'll be seeing you.